Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy John here, back again, once again, with another YouTube video. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to take you through my weightlifting journey from being a skinny guy focused on aesthetics to becoming a stronger, bigger guy. A little bit fat. Was it worth it? Let's find out. My weightlifting journey actually started two years ago. I used to play basketball all throughout high school. I played on the freshman team as a freshman, JV team as a sophomore, and the varsity team as a junior and senior. But all the exercises we did were very push and like jump movements, a lot of plyometrics, a lot of cleans and jerks. But I never really truly got into bodybuilding stuff or weightlifting stuff that I do today. It all started going into my sophomore year of college when I started lifting heavy. My friend actually invited me to go lift with them and I didn't really know what lifting was or what I wanted to do with it but after I got my first pump I was definitely hooked here is a picture of me two years ago when I just started getting the newbie gains and as you can see I had a pretty aesthetic physique the abs you could tell a clear definition from it and my insertions seem pretty good my arms are a little small but everything looks pretty aesthetic and this is me today. It is a lot bigger. I gained around 40 to 45 pounds in between these pictures. And I'm a lot bigger and stronger, definitely. I am on a bulk currently. Um, I'm on 213 pounds and I'm trying to get to 230 pounds. To be completely transparent, I started off like many of you have, skinny and wanting to look good. I focus on my abs a lot. I did it every day. I ran every day. I was all about the aesthetics and I thought that was the end goal. As I got more into weightlifting and my friend actually invited me out the first time, we hit a chest day and I got my first pump. I was definitely hooked. I realized that there's more than just looking good and doing abs for the aesthetics or trying to get as low as body fat as I can. I wanted to be strong, not just look strong. The journey definitely has not been easy, and I feel like I just started it because I haven't been too consistent, especially from my half year to 1.5 years, I didn't lift too much, but I had to eat more, lift more, and that definitely came with its own set of challenges. Nonetheless, currently I've been very consistent, at least for the summers and the hard work seems to have been paying off. I'm lifting heavier, feeling stronger, and yes, getting a little bit bigger. So overall, do I think it was worth it? Well, let's do pros and cons list. The pros, I feel a lot better than I was before. I wasn't starving myself. I'm not running every day. My legs don't ache every day because I'm running. Uh, and I can definitely lift heavier. I feel bigger, I can eat whatever I want. Those are definitely some good pros. In terms of the cons, I would say, I don't feel that I look as good, especially without the definition of my face and my abs and all my muscle insertions, but I feel like that's a very temporary con because I will be cutting soon. I'm not as aesthetic before, and I feel like I kind of lost some sort of my athletic abil ability because I gained so much weight. I can't dunk anymore. Uh, but nonetheless, I feel like the confidence I gained from being okay with myself as a bigger dude now is definitely invaluable. Before, if I gained any sort of weight, I would look myself in the mirror and try to starve myself the next day. But nowadays, I'm eating whatever I want. I look myself in the mirror. And while I don't think I look as good as I did before in terms of my facial structure, and the amount of fat that resides in my face, I definitely feel a lot better. Remember, this is my journey, and if you guys have a similar journey, getting fit to fat, fat to fit, whatever you wanna do, it comes with your own set of challenges. So try to take what I went through and use it as motivation, I guess. Um, all in all, discipline is the most important thing. Sticking through with your plans, goals, and routines is the best way to make progress as quick as possible. And just going through no matter what. You might have sick days. You might have days where you feel like, oh, I don't want to go to the gym. Or I don't want to not eat this food. Or I want to eat these bad foods. 
or whatever it is that you may or may not want to do that don't go with your routine, make sure to just keep doing it. It's okay to not feel like wanting to go to the gym, but as long as you hit it for like 20 minutes at a time, that's still fine. As as long as you did it, you know. I appreciate everyone for watching through my short journey here. If you're thinking about making a similar change, like I said, I say totally go for it. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.